a lot of you when I was in high school, Hot Topic was like an aspirational store. It was like they had all the cool styles. Uh, I was very much into my music and they had a lot of merchandise that really reflected my taste in music. And, you know, it was just, it was just cool. Like that's, that it just, it was cool. But for a lot of different reasons, I just wasn't able to shop there as much. I didn't have the funds. I didn't grow up in a wealthy family. So, you know, buying store-bought things at the mall was like a big deal. And it happened a few times a year, but it wasn't a regular thing. Even in high school when I wore a size 16, I was completely sized out of most things at Hot Topic. Flash forward to 2018, I'm doing this amazing haul with Hot Topic. They sent me these clothes. They want to work with me. They make things in my size and the clothes are really good. They've really expanded what they have available. Probably the most exciting thing is that on March 4th, I'll be doing an Instagram takeover on the Hot Topic fashion page. So this is an absolute dream come true for me. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this try on haul style where I try everything on, I show it to you, I give you a review of the fit and the fabric and stuff like that. And then on March 4th, if you go to the Hot Topic Instagram page where I'm doing my takeover, I will be sharing with you guys how I style the outfits with a little bit more stylized shots that I, you know, shoot a little bit better than just like, hey, here's me in my dining room. How you doing? <laughs> First piece is this, which I'm calling the Wednesday Adams dress. It has the most amazing fabric. It's nice and stiff, so it lays really beautiful. It has the beautiful color right here. I just love that. It has the zip up in the back. It also has little ties, which I plan on cutting off because I don't really need them. It doesn't come with the belt. The belt I got from Torrid a while back. Ooh, a little bit looser now. So I don't love it without the belt. I feel like maybe it's just a little too umpire wasted. I'm 5'7", so this just might not be meant for my height and everything. It comes to just about the knee. There's really no gapping at the bust. It has really nice seams here. The quality of the fabric is amazing. It feels a lot like pinup girl clothing, so I was really, really excited about this piece. And the best part is it has pockets. It has pockets. It has pockets. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It has pockets. Okay, so next up we have a t-shirt. I love this piece. Oh my gosh, you guys. The fabric on this is really nice. It's a like medium weight cotton t-shirt, so it's not like the thin, really filmsy kind of ones, and it's not like the really thick kind of stiff ones. It's right in that little sweet spot. This is a really nice length because it's like tunic length, so it covers your butt with leggings, so you don't have to worry about like underwear showing and stuff like that, but it is short enough that my little suspender tight show, which is kind of cool. You can wear this as a top, you can wear this a little bit as a dress, and again, depending on your height, I'm 5'7". So this top is in a size 3. It fits me great. And you could adjust the size by loosening the corsetry here if you need a little extra room or if you want less room. It's really kind of up to you. I love customizable pieces of clothing like this. And I really am seeing a lot of this uh, corset trend, which I love. I anything, Anytime that I can like have a little corsetry showing in my everyday style, I'm a big fan. Next piece. This top, I mean, I don't really need to say anything else about this. American Horror Story, huge fan of Coven. I freaking loved Coven. I thought it was great. Of course, I'm a huge Stevie Nicks fan, so, you know, there's that. This top is really great. It's a very lightweight cotton, but it's, again, not quite as filmsy as some other brands. Like, it has, like, a good amount of, like, weight and drape to it while also being lightweight. I think the cold shoulder detail on this is really nice. It's quite flattering. It's not just kind of, like, there to be there. I think it actually looks flattering, you know, with the construction of everything else. It has a rounded hemline. It's actually quite long. If you're maybe like 5'4 and under, I think you'd get away with wearing this one as a dress. It's super cute. This is in a size 3 and I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This is such a great piece. I'm so excited to own this. So this is a sheer mesh peplum top. I'm really into the sheer mesh trend. I think it's just a really fun way to experiment with like being a little naked, but not too naked. Um, I, you know, I really didn't even plan my bras for this. I just, you know, I'm just wearing my regular everyday kind of comfort bra from Elomi. Just trying to show you guys a realistic try on of these clothes. This is a very comfortable top to wear. It's not too clingy. I love the peplum. I'm not usually a huge, huge fan of peplums, but this one is very cute. And I like it a lot with the leather skirt. So this is the same leather skirt I was wearing with the on Wednesdays we wear black shirt. Um, it has a nice zip detail here in the front. It's pleather, so it's, you know, cruelty free. Love this. It's just the right amount of short. It's not too short. Like if I sit down, yeah, I'm kind of making some contact with the seat, but it's not too bad. Next outfit, and this is probably the one I'm the most impressed by, surprised by, excited about. So these shorts are from a brand called Black Heart, which I think is one of their newer brands that they've come out with. And you guys... I was really nervous about ordering shorts. Oh my God, why am I talking about the shorts and I'm not talking about the David Bowie t-shirt? Look at this David Bowie shirt. Oh, I know, 
I know, I know, I had to have it. Had to have it, it's amazing. Ground control to Major Tom. These shorts went really good with this top as well. Um, I, as I said, I was really nervous about the shorts. Bottoms are the hardest thing for me because I'm pear shaped. Shorts are hard, like shorts are freaking hard. I wanted to take that risk and kind of show you guys the results and I'm super pleased. Um, these are a size 24, which is my normal pant size. They fit beautifully. I love the stripe detail. They're a nice stiff fabric, which is really cool. And another thing, they looked kind of stiff online too. And I was like, stiff fabric on shorts doesn't usually work for me, but it works in these ones. I love the zipper detail. I think they are so cute, so fun, perfect with this David Bowie shirt. So excited for it to be warm weather so I can actually wear them because it's kind of freezing today. <laughs> Here we have a really great distress tank. I love the bleach splattering on this and again I have to say the fabric is nice. It's a lightweight fabric that doesn't feel shitty. It feels really soft, really nice. Um, I love the kind of detail of the distressing on it. I love the sort of like di like dip dye. These shorts that I'm wearing, these ones are the mid-rise shorts. The last one were the low-rise. These are the mid-rise. These ones actually come up a little bit higher. I love the distressing on these. The red distressing is so cute. Very comfortable, really soft denim again these are from Blackheart they are a size 24 love these shorts I cannot wait for warmer weather let's show you another outfit I really want to impress upon you guys that I am completely floored by the shorts I was really really nervous like I actually asked for them knowing they weren't gonna fit like in my head I'm like mm, those are gonna be rejected I'm not gonna like them. I was prepared to be disappointed. So when they came and they fit and they fit well and my butt looked good in them, I was like, ah, I felt like I won the lottery. You know how that feels like when you're like, I found shorts that fit me. I found shorts that fit me. Okay guys, so here is another piece that again, I was kind of nervous about. Oh my God, this little, like, what is this called? Um, an overskirt? Uh, it's a little skirt bottom. It's very short, but it's not too short. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna sit down and no, we're not making too bad a contact, which is good. That's always like a concern when you're wearing a short skirt is like, how short is it in the back? Um, very, very cute and it's tight, but it's comfortable. It's not like, I don't feel like squeezed in here like sausage. It has the um, front pockets. It also has the back pocket styling as well, which are functional, but I probably wouldn't really put anything in them, but you could if you wanted to. Love the little like suspender kind of look to it. I love that it sort of cups around the breast, so it's very feminine and sexy and cute at the same time. I have this paired with a t-shirt from Little Twin Stars, Sanrio. Like, can we give it a little what what? The ringer style on this is super, super 90s. I am digging this whole outfit it's so cute this is oh this is so dark I just really I'm like why is the lighting all weird there let's get some sunshine going on my back um this is a galaxy bikini set so they're sold as separate so you can get different sizes if you need different sizes I have both of these in a size three the top is really cool because it's adjustable you can wear this as a strapless you can wear it crisscross you have different like points where you can put the straps I like them a little bit further away I love the way it looks Super duper comfortable. I think it's really flattering and cute. I love the ruching on the bottoms. I totally love this swim set. This is so cute. I love this bikini. This bikini top does not have any underwire in it, which I like sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't, you know what I mean? I love the fabric on this. I love the galaxy print. I think it's really cute. I love having fun bikinis and I'm so excited that I, the fat girl who could barely fit into anything from Hot Topic when I was a teenager at size 16, is now in all my size 22 glory wearing a Hot Topic bikini. This is very exciting for me. I have to tell you guys, this is really, this is a, this is a special moment for me, to be honest. Um, you know, I felt so excluded as a teenager from most mall brands. I hadn't even thought to shop there in years. And look at me now. Look at me now. Ah! One more bikini. All right, guys, here's the final outfit. And I am so excited to share this with you. This is a Little Mermaid bikini. I'm so excited. This one has both padding and underwire. So the girls are like up front and center, which is kind of sexy and really fun. I love the clamshell detailing and the metallic fabric. It's really cute. I love the little scalloped edge here. It's so cute. So this one is adjustable by the straps. You sort of pull them out and around and everything. And it was a little difficult to do it myself. Um, when I first tried this on, I had my husband help me, but I managed to do it by myself just fine. So that's very, very promising. I love this. I'm a little cold in it. I'm not gonna like, since it's winter time. So like right now I'm like, <laughs> can't wait to put a sweater on. But ordinarily, I'd be like, woohoo, let's go out in the sunshine in my bikini. I feel like I'm kind of like the top edge of, of, of cup size that could wear this. I wear a 42G uh, and it does, I still feel like it works 
for me in this. It's sexy, it's cute, but it's like I think any bigger than this and you might have a little bit of a hazard of spilling out, if you know what I mean. I love this. It's so great. I love the fabric on the bottom. It's really cute. The only kind of caveat, and you guys know I, I gotta keep it real with you, the bottoms though I feel are kind of a little tight. They're uh, made out of a type of fabric that doesn't have a ton of stretch to them, so they don't have as much give. Uh, the other bikini fit beautifully. I just think that this one's just, it's a little tight. Like it's, it's totally workable. I, mean, I will absolutely be swimming in this this summer, but just in terms of like overall comfort, I do think that the other one was slightly more comfortable. Um, love this overall though. Oh! with this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun for me to do. I, I feel in a lot of ways it's a homecoming. Hot Topic was like my aspirational store, the place that I wished that I could buy more from when I was a teenager. And here I am, a fat girl in a bikini from Hot Topic. I'm doing their Instagram takeover on March 4th, so be sure that you check that out. I am so excited about it. I can't wait to show you guys how I style all these pieces, and I'll see you guys there. I might be vintage or tacky, just be your own kind of beautiful.